Hi everybody, my name's Julia from Bobbins and Buttons and today I'm filming from my new studio. Um, so the rest of this film is going to be showing you the transformation of what this building used to look like and at the end I'll give you a quick guided tour of what it looks like today. But I also thought it'd be a good opportunity just to introduce my business if you've not come across it before um, and just tell you a little bit about what I do. So um, initially I started Bobbins and Buttons in 2013, purely teaching sewing classes. Um, those have obviously had to stop due to Covid but I am really looking forward to getting back to teaching classes again as soon as I'm allowed here in my new studio. Um, so alongside that I now also design a range of sewing patterns so I've got styles for the whole family um, and the idea really behind the patterns are practical and versatile styles. And then as well as that I also sell a range of good quality dressmaking fabrics. So it's been a dream for so long to have a studio. Um, I've worked in temporary spaces and hired places for the whole of the last eight years. So this is really so exciting to actually have a place, um, a Bobbins and Buttons headquarters. <laughs> so um, let me show you how this used to look and show you how it looks now. So here we are on a very snowy day in February and I'm looking at what I'm hoping is going to become a dream come true. So let me show you what this looks like today on the inside. So this is the end of the first week of building work, which I can't actually quite believe because I've done so much. So let me take you inside and show you what's been going on. Just got to duck down under this scaffolding. So inside here, we've got a brand new concrete floor ready for tiling, which is very exciting, I have to say. And then up here, we're well on the way to a brand new roof and this was a horrible asbestos roof so they've got rid of all of that nasty asbestos and put in three little skylight windows and this new framework for the roof so let me take you outside and see if I can show you a bit of how it's looking on the outside So up there you can see the tiles ready to be laid at the end part um, and then this has all been done which is looking really 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 neat. So loads of progress for just over one week's work, Can't still can't quite believe it. So this is, I think, the end of week two, although I have to say I'm slightly losing track of time at the moment. Um, but yes, let's see what progress has happened. 
I have to say I never thought I would be excited about guttering but this is so exciting I have guttering it does mean there is a great big hole in the ground over here at the moment but it's all a work in progress large hole anyway let's go and have a look inside So all the wooden framework is now in place. So the next stage is insulation. Um, there also has to be some soundproofing on this wall. And then there's plasterboard, I believe. And I have loads and loads of leads for electric power points. For all the sewing machines that are going to sit around here. So this is the end of week three and there's been loads of progress this week. I now have windows and a front door. So let me show you this. This is mega exciting. A lock. A lockable front door and inside there's been loads of progress in here as well so these walls have been insulated so all that silver covering is insulation and now the plasterboards are starting to go on so the ceiling is already plasterboarded so it's really starting to look like a proper room now so exciting I'm really starting to visualize where everything's going to go so along here under this big window is going to be a bench for sewing machines so all of these um, wires are where there's going to be plug sockets for sewing machines and there'll be radiators here keep us nice and warm but yeah it's just really coming together so here we are at the end of week four. So loads and loads has happened again. And in fact, this is the penultimate week of the work. So it's handing over to, to me next with a paint roller, I believe. So um, yeah, basically we've got the first layer of render on the outside. So it's starting to look a little bit more um, finished on the outside. And let's go inside. It's funny in here because it's all echoey. But looky look, there's lots of plaster on the walls now. And wire wires hanging out where there'll be plug um There'll be sockets and light fittings on the ceiling. So it's really, really at the end of the work now. So it's amazing. It's so exciting. So the floor has all been um, treated so that's ready to be tiled. And yeah, 
well just as soon as the um, plaster has dried I'm going to be in here with a paint roller and start the paint work. So here we are, this is, I think this is the end of week five of the building works um, but I seriously have totally lost track of time now so I'm not sure but basically the builders have now finished um, all but a few little bits so um, it's over to me now with a paintbrush and roller to paint the inside and the outside but um, yeah I just want to mention the builders actually because I haven't mentioned them before and I did meet with a lot of builders before taking on um, Craig and Howard and they have just been absolutely brilliant from start to finish. Craig came over and had a look at the project, came up with all the ideas that we've gone ahead with, um, looked at potential problems and how we resolved them, they've kept to their timeline and I just think they've done an amazing job. Absolutely love it. They've been great to work with so couldn't really be happier. So let me take you inside and show you how it all looks. So outside the render's now been finished so um, that's ready basically to paint. So I've just been learning about that because I've never painted render before. But the first priority is inside. So I can't exactly remember whether it had been fully plastered in the last video but it has now been plastered all over, ceiling and walls, the skirting boards are in and um, I have these amazing lights, in fact let me put these on and show you, I've deliberated over lights for absolutely ages but I really really wanted something that was super bright um, and I found these, so I'm really hoping I've got the right thing, but I love how they look. So um, that's been the, the one problem with everywhere that we've done sewing over the years, that the lighting is never strong enough. So um, I was really keen to find something that would be nice and bright. So we've laid um, fabric all over the floor, just old pieces of fabric that have been used in the past because I'm like I said I'm going to get ready to paint this now um, there's plug sockets everywhere especially down this end where I'm going to have my little um, workbenches with sewing machines so I'll be able to run classes again soon and then we have radiators so I've got two lovely large radiators which I haven't switched on yet I need to work out how they operate but hopefully they're going to keep it nice and toasty in here and um, yeah I think that's pretty much the whole thing now so like I said I'm going to start painting and next time I show this maybe it will be filled with fabric and all painted and finished hopefully so um, yeah, so excited. I can't believe it's actually happening. It's just amazing. So I think I said in the last video clip that it would be the last video clip for the big reveal, but I changed my mind because I've done loads of painting. So I thought I'd just show you the last progress report. The outside still needs painting, but that's not gonna happen until the summer, I don't think. But inside today, I am going to paint the last coat of gloss on the window sills and skirting boards. And then it's just a case of cleaning up and I can move in. I've been super lucky because my lovely husband who had to have his annual leave um, took a couple of days off and has done most of the painting of the walls for me, which is amazing. So that's really, really nice of him. But yeah, this is so close to being my new studio. So I've moved in. There are still a few jobs to do, one of which is painting the exterior, but I'm going to leave that till the summer months when there's a bit less chance of rain, I think. So let me show you inside. 
So this end of the studio is where all the fabric is. Um, so everything's categorised on shelves. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video about the fabrics, but I will come back with some other videos and go into the stock a little bit more. But just as a quick um, overview of what's here. We've got jersey fabrics on this side. Um, moving down to heavier weight jerseys and some denims. Then there are rib fabrics, corduroys. There are velvets, stretch velvets. Um, remnant boxes. <laughs> and then on this side we've got wool and cotton lawn. There's linen up there. And then um, craft weight cotton, plain and prints. And this, in the middle of the floor, is going to be the workbenches for the sewing, um, for where the, the sewing classes will be held. So I'll show you that in a second, that's down the other end. So just here there's quite a lot of new stock come in. Um, I just haven't really had time to photograph it and list it all yet, but that's all coming very soon. And then there's some bolts here. And then in the middle here we've got the big cutting table. So this is where all your orders are cut, um, where I do all my pattern cutting and where um, people will cut things out when they come back to classes. So nice big stack of orders for today as well. Um, here are the patterns um, and then there's haberdashery, my favourite beautiful cabinet there with lots of haberdashery. Again it needs a bit of sorting out but I've only just moved it in. so. Still a fair bit to do. So this end is where I've got the makeshift tables at the moment for, um, they just pop up tables and they don't really fit very well but they're just serving the purpose until those workbenches are fitted. And up here is all the um, equipment, scissors and things and that's it and some lovely radiators to keep us nice and toasty. So I am um, planning a, an open day at the beginning of June. So um, the details of that are on the website if you'd like to come and visit in person. Um, I'm going to be doing operating it as, a, as carefully as I can. So um, like I said, all the details are on the website. So there we go, the new headquarters of Bobbins and Buttons.